Hello and welcome to Unzi Talks where I bring you one great book in two short minutes and the book I'm talking about right now is called When I Was the Greatest by Jason Reynolds. Um, now this is also the author of All American Boys. He wrote this book before that book and two reasons why I value it. Firstly, it's emotional impact and secondly, it's significant insights. So uh, the passage that I picked from the book is really important. Um, in terms of underscoring uh, both emotional impact and significant insights. So um, the book takes place in, you know, it's a modern setting in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. And in this neighborhood, the main character is Ali. He's the narrator. Um, And he's an African-American young man. Um, And he has two neighbor friends and their brothers, and their nicknames are Needles and Noodles. And uh, so... Needles is um, suffers from Tourette's syndrome, and so I love this particular passage from the book, and hopefully you'll see why. And remember, this is Ali talking. About a year ago, Needles had one of these fits, a bad one, and it was a Sunday, and my mother was by the window and heard a bunch of commotion coming from outside. Remember now, Needles has Tourette's syndrome, so that means he has a lot of tics and also um, may shout some profanities from time to time as a result of that. So. Uh, She looked out there, and Needles was sitting on the stoop next door, going off like nobody's business. By this point, I'd seen him lose control tons of times, but it had never been as bad as it was that day. The worst part about it was there was a crowd of people gathered there, just listening and staring. Some were even laughing under their breath, and this time, Noodles wasn't around to shut it down. My mother was pissed. I mean, really mad. I ran behind her as she stormed downstairs, and let me tell you, when that door flung open, those people met the worst side of Doris Brooks. She ran toward that crowd like she was getting ready to start swinging on folks, and people started walking away pretty quickly. So the reason that I love that particular passage is that it it kind of underscores the idea that it takes the village, you know. Um... Doris is not Needles' mom, but Needles' mom isn't around, and she kind of comes to his rescue when it could very well be that other kids are going to come and make fun of him. And so that's just one of several instances of, like, kind of emotional impact in the book. Um, And I also think it's so important because you get these significant insights um, about Needles and about Tourette's Syndrome through a real authentic character. So if this book sounds like something that would be of interest to you, I would add it to your TBR pile, and until next time.